I'm going to show you how to crochet this cozy sweater for a stuffed animal. This is perfect for fall and great for beginners wanting to get into crocheting. Now let's get started! Luckily there's only a few materials you need to make this, the first one being yarn. I chose this white super chunky yarn which basically means it's pretty thick and you'll also need a crochet hook that works with this yarn. So mine I borrowed for a friend and I'm using a 6.5 millimeter. I think I could have gone a little bit bigger though. Now the first thing I'm going to do is making a slip stitch. I'm just taking a loop of yarn, twisting it, and pulling one of the sides through in a loop. Now if you pull either of the dangling strings, the loop will get smaller. So here you'll want to insert your crochet hook and pull it pretty tight. Now I can start my chain. To do this I'm going to use my hook to grab some yarn that is connected to the actual yarn ball and pull it through that loop that was on the hook. Now I'm just going to continue that over and over again and that will make the chain. I was kind of struggling to pull the loops through because I think my crochet hook was a little too small, so if that happens to you, you'll want to keep the loop around your hook a little looser. I'm going to do this a total 42 times, so in the end there should be 42 stitches. I also wanted to mention that I am actually a beginner at crocheting. I just got a video request for this and wanted to try it out, so I ended up adapting a sweater pattern for an adult and making it stuffed animal sized. I will have the original pattern and website linked down below. Now after I've chained 42, I'm going to grab the stuffed animal I'm making this for and just wrap it around her neck to make sure it will fit over her head. Since mine was good, I'm moving on to the next step of joining this so it is a circle. To do this, I'm inserting my crochet hook into that first chain we made and then grabbing some yarn or yarning over and pulling through both loops. This is what's called a slip stitch when you pull the yarn through both loops all at once. Next, I need to do a single crochet in each stitch. To do that, I'm first going to chain one. And then into that next stitch, I'm going to insert my crochet hook, yarn over, and pull through that first loop. And now that I have two loops on my crochet hook, I'm going to yarn over one more time and pull through both loops. So that is called a single crochet, and I'm going to repeat that within every stitch around this circle. This was a little tricky for me since I made my chain really tight, so next time I'd make my chain a little bit looser, but I did eventually get through it. Since I'm doing one in every stitch, I'm still going to have 42 stitches at the end. Once I've looped all the way around, I can close it up with a slip stitch. So I'm inserting my crochet hook into that top first stitch and pulling the yarn through both loops. And after that, it should look like this. What I just did will count as round one, so to start round two, I'm going to chain three. Next, I'm going to do what's called a front post double crochet, and that's where you first yarn over, then go into the stitch you were just working on through the front, then enter into the next stitch from the back, and finally yarn over and pull through just those two stitches. And this for me is the hardest part about the whole stitch, but by now you should have three loops on your crochet hook. So next I'm yarning over and pulling through those first two loops, then yarning over again and pulling through the last two loops. Now I need to alternate that with a back post double crochet. This is very similar to the last one, I'm just yarning over and this time entering through the back first, and then going into the next stitch through the front, and finally yarning over and pulling through those first two stitches. And once you only have three loops left, you can yarn over and pull through the first two, then yarn over and pull through those last two. Don't worry if this takes a little time to get the hang of, you may have to watch this part over and over again. I definitely had to because I was not familiar with this stitch. So right now I'm just repeating that, alternating front post double crochet with back post double crochet until I get all the way around the circle. Something you'll soon realize is the front post double crochet looks kind of puffier and is sticking out towards you, while the back one looks twisted and doesn't stick out as much. That hopefully helps you keep track of what stitch you need to do next, but I know I ended up doing the wrong one at some point and it still looked fine. After I've gone all the way around, I'm going to slip stitch into that third chain we did, and that will end the second round. Now to start round three, I'm going to chain three again. And for this round, the only stitch we'll need is a regular double crochet. To do that, I'm first yarning over, inserting my crochet hook into that next stitch, then pulling the yarn through just that stitch, and once I have three loops on my hook, I'm going to yarn over and pull through those first two loops, and then yarn over and pull through those last two loops. And that's how you do a double crochet. Now I'm going to do this five more times so I have a total of six double crochets. Now once I have done six double crochets, not counting that initial chain we did, for this next one I'm going to do three double crochets in the same stitch. So as you can see, I've already put my first one in like normal, but now instead of moving on to the next stitch, I'm going to yarn over and insert my crochet hook back into the same stitch I already have one in. 
So I'm going to do that one more time to make three, and by the end it should look like this. You can tell all three double crochets are coming from that same hole. Now I'm going to grab some safety pins to use as stitch markers, and I'm going to place that in the second of the three double crochets. So right in the middle one. After that I'm going to go back to doing one double crochet in each stitch for the next 13 stitches. After I've done 13 more double crochets, for this one I'm going to put three double crochets in the same stitch like I've done before. So I've just done the first one, now I'm going in to do the second one, and here's the third one. Now just like last time I'm going to use a safety pin to mark the second double crochet. Now I'm going to do a double crochet in each stitch for the next six stitches. Once I've done six, again I'm going to do three double crochets in the next stitch. So after doing my third one it will look like this. Now I'm going to add a safety pin to the top of the second double crochet like last time. Next I'm going to do that same thing one more time, do six double crochets, one in each stitch, and then do three in the next one and mark it with a safety pin. So here I am adding the safety pin, and now I'm going to do one double crochet in each stitch till the end of the round. Once I'm at the end of the round I'm just going to do a slip stitch into that beginning chain to close it up. Now you'll have four safety pins kind of in the shape of a rectangle, and before starting the next round I'm going to flip the whole thing over. That means for this round I'll be crocheting in the opposite direction as I was going before. I'm going to start by chaining three, and then doing a double crochet into the next stitch. I'm going to continue doing one double crochet in each stitch until I reach the safety pin. Once I get there I'm going to remove the safety pin and into this stitch I'm going to do three double crochet. After I've done all three, I'm going to place the safety pin back onto the middle of the three double crochet. By now you should start seeing a pattern form. All I need to do now is do one double crochet in each stitch, and do three once I get to the safety pins. I'm going to continue doing that all the way around. Once I've gotten to the end, I'm just going to do a slip stitch into that beginning chain to close it up. After that I'm going to flip the whole thing over and repeat the same process as before. I ended up doing two more rounds of this, but you could probably get away with only doing one more, and I'll show you how to measure for that in a little bit. When I was done I ended up having six rounds overall for the sweater. After doing two more rounds off camera it should look like this. I'm going to try this on my stuffed animal first to see if I need more rounds. So after moving where I start the round to the back, I'm going to try to match up two of the safety pins under her arm. If those stitches are able to touch, even if it's pretty tight, you should be done. My sweater turned out kind of big in the end, so I think I should have just done one more round instead of two. You should definitely do this test on your stuffed animal to make sure. So this next round is where we're going to make the armholes. I'm of course flipping it over so I crochet in the opposite direction, and of course, as usual, I'm starting by crocheting a chain of three. Then I'm just going to continue doing one double crochet in each stitch. Then like before, I'm just going to do a double crochet in each stitch until I get to the safety pin. Once I've gotten there I'm going to remove the safety pin to make things easier, and I'm just going to do one double crochet in this next stitch. Now I'm going to kind of fold this whole piece in half and match this corner up with the next safety pin. And now I'm going to do another double crochet, but this time I'm putting my hook through that stitch with the safety pin. And at this point removing the other safety pin also makes this a lot easier. Now I'm finally removing that safety pin, and since as you can see the round started here, we're going to continue going in that same direction. I'm just going to keep doing one double crochet in each stitch till I get to that next safety pin. And as you can see, that just made our first armhole. Once I've gotten there, I'm going to remove the safety pin, do a double crochet in that stitch, and like last time, match that up with the last safety pin, and do a double crochet through that stitch. Now that last armhole is formed, and I'm going to continue doing double crochets till the end of the round. After getting to the end, I'm going to do a slip stitch to connect them. Then for the next round, I'm going to flip the whole thing over so I'm crocheting in the opposite direction, chaining three of course, and then just doing a double crochet in each stitch. This is a really straightforward round that'll give the sweater some length. After I've gotten to the end and done the slip stitch, I'm going to flip the whole thing over and do one more round. You could always do more, but I tried this on my stuffed animal and figured one more round was good for the length. The only thing different about this round will come once we get closer to the sleeves, so I'm going to skip over to there. So once I'm about one or two stitches away from the first armhole, I'm going to double crochet two stitches together. 
To do this, I'm starting like a normal double crochet, yarning over and inserting my hook into the first stitch, pulling yarn through that first stitch, then yarning over and pulling through the first two loops. But now we're actually gonna stop here and yarn over and go into the next stitch like we're doing another double crochet. Then once there's four loops on the hook, you'll wanna pull through the first two, and then once you have three on the hook, pull through all three. And that's what's called double crocheting two together. Now until I get to that other armhole, I'm gonna do one double crochet in each stitch. Once I get a few stitches away from that other armhole, I'm going to do the same thing as last time, double crochet two together. Then I'm just doing normal double crochets till the end of the round. For me, this is going to be my last round, so the last thing I'm going to do is slip stitch into that initial chain. You could still add more rounds of double crochet if you want it longer. Now to finish this end off, I'm going to pull out that loop, cut off the yarn, and pull it through. And then I probably should have just cut this smaller, but now I'm going to weave the rest of the end into the sweater. I'm not even sure if this is the right way to do it. I think most people put it through a needle and then just weave it in that way, but I just used my crochet hook. Next, it's time to work on the sleeves. I'm first slipping it over to the back because I want to add my yarn to the bottom back of the sleeve. So not directly at the bottom of the sleeve, I'm pushing my crochet hook through and pulling the yarn through. Then I can just tie that in place. And I'm going to worry about weaving that end in later. But now I'm going to insert my crochet hook into that stitch we just tied the yarn to and then pull through that loop. And then from there, I'm going to make a chain of three. Then I'm going to do a double crochet in each stitch almost around the entire armhole. I'm going to stop towards the bottom of the front of the sweater. Once there are two stitches left before you can complete the round, here's where we're going to double crochet two together. So we've done this before, but just to show it again, it starts as a normal double crochet, but then before pulling through the last two loops, you go into another double crochet. So by the end, you'll have three loops on your crochet hook and you'll have to pull through all three of them at once. Now I can do a slip stitch to close up that round. After trying this on my stuffed animal, I just decided to do one more round to make the sleeves actual long sleeves. So now I'm just turning the sweater around so I'm crocheting in the opposite direction and just doing a double crochet in each stitch for the entire round. Once I've gone all the way around, I can just do a slip stitch to close it up, and this first sleeve is done! Now I can trim off the yarn and pull it through like before, then I'm just weaving this in throughout the sweater. Now I need to do the same thing to the second sleeve. After that, your sweater for a stuffed animal is done! It's pretty hard to tell on camera, but my sleeves kind of turned out different from one another. The last row on the left side is sticking out more, and then on the right side it's more flat. And that's just because I tied the yarn onto the back of both sleeves, which kind of got the alternating pattern mixed up. But to prevent that, I just tie the yarn onto the back of one sleeve and then onto the front of the other one. But other than that, I think it turned out great. But the last thing I need to do is weave in the tail that was originally from the start of the sweater. I kind of let the tail poke out from the inside and cut it off there. Now it is finally time to try this on. This sweater is super thick, so I didn't put on anything underneath. But as you can see, it is a little wider around the arms, and that's just because of the additional round I did in the beginning. At this point, I also hadn't decided what bottoms to wear with this, but I did eventually just put a pair of overalls underneath so you could just see the pants. I am so happy with the way this turned out. I was so intimidated to crochet an entire sweater, which I had never done before, but surprisingly, it didn't take days and days to make. I did this all in one day in probably less than four hours. I really hope you enjoyed this video and want to try it out. Stay tuned for more fall style and crafts. Please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and make sure to comment any video ideas you want to see. I'll see you next time!